Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to go over some breaking news where Warren Buffett is making his first major purchase since the whole pandemic. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway as energy portfolio buys the Minin Energy Gas Lines, a $9.7 billion deal. We're going to look at why this might be a good play, possibly for Dominion, or possibly not a good play. We're going to look more into detail in Dominion Energy, if it's a worthwhile stock, also how this will affect the company in the future. All right, as always, if you click the description below, you'll see links to all of these articles. Um, so the energy division of Warren Buffett Herbs Hill Factory will acquire gas lines owned by the power company Demand Energy in a nearly $10 billion deal. They sought to expand the pipelines along the Atlantic coast for years to take advantage of the fracking boom. With a lot of regulatory hurdles, the company is abandoning those plans and ceding control of the storage network to Berkshire. I have almost 7 million, more than 7 million energy customers across 20 states, mostly in the Northeast, but also Utah and some of West. Uh, Berkshire Halfway will also get states in a gas facility and gas in the Northeast. This does not include acquisition of the proposed 600 mile Atlantic Coast Pipeline joint venture between Dominion and Duke Energy. Now they're saying that this was abandoned during the ongoing delays and increasing its cost. So the Atlantic Coast Pipeline is as of now is not occurring because of the increase in costs. The second article, I'm going to look at a little bit more about the numbers here. They're spending $4 billion to buy the transmission and storage assets, and they're going to take the debt off the total of the almost $10 billion. So Buffett revealed in May that he built up $137 billion cash hoard, and he's been waiting a while on it. They, he had that much money or near that much for months before it. And a lot of investors were wondering why he hasn't made any big purchases on it. This is the first major purchase, almost 10% of his cash so far. So we haven't done anything because we don't see anything attractive to do, but suddenly he's starting to buy the gas lines. For Dominion, this move is one of a series that's taking the transition to a pure play regulated utility company. Focuses on clean energy production, wind, solar, natural gas. They still have natural gas as available options. They expect that 90% of its future operating earnings will come from its utility companies that provide energy to 7 million customers Virginia, North Star Pile, Ohio, and Utah. And also Kansas in the pipeline. Now, here's the numbers. Dominion's warning it now expects earnings to be 3.37 to 3.63 a share. And remember, they're losing a lot of debt in this transaction. So their earnings will also go down because they're not bringing in the income. Previous guidance was 425 to 460. The company's also planning to cut its dividend to 63 cents a share from 94 cents it paid in the first two quarters. So that's a pretty big drop in the dividend. For utility companies, dividends is one of the most valuable things that they have going for them, and they're cutting the dividend. What's also helpful, though, in this case is they were paying out 85% of its operating earnings, which is a bit high. I recommend looking at uh, payout ratios of 75% or less. But after this transaction, it's going to be a payout of 65%, more in line with its peers. Berkshire, if you're interested in them, greatly increases its footprint in natural gas. They're going to now carry 18% of natural gas transmission in the whole United States, a 10% from what it was before. Now, let's look at Dominion Energy stock. This has been a favorite for many dividend growth investors, as you can see in the chart here. From 2002, it was paying $0.32 cents a quarter, and currently it's paying $0.94 cents a quarter. However, you do know in the news that it's going to be lowered to 63 cents a share. So we're essentially looking back to around 2015 or so levels. So it's going to be a decrease in the share price. They are essentially trying to pivot to more natural um, wind, solar energy sources, which could have some very good long-term growth prospects, and we could be looking very long-term in this. We have a dividend growth. Growth rate's looking good. 6% last year, 9 in 3 years, and 8% or so in 5 years. So we're looking about 5 years back for the new dividends. But remember, they have much less in debt. 
and 10 year growth rate about 8%. We're going to lose a 16 year growth status because of this, but the dividend growth history is very solid. Summary of the share price. The stock essentially jumped right back up after the big drop in March and April. It was at $89 a share in March. It's back up to $83 a share. The yield currently is 4.55%, but it's going to be going down to about three and a quarter, three and a half percent after the dividend cut. So it's definitely something to consider. I would think, and I'm just guessing in conjecture here, the dividend growth should bounce back up relatively quickly because they'll have a lot less in debt. But it could be two, three years before it comes back to these initial levels. If the dividend growth rate could remain at these numbers or possibly increase, that is a medium to higher yielding company with pretty high growth aspects. And those are things that I want to look for when investing. You want a fairly high dividend yield currently, so you get that recurring dividends and you can reinvest into more shares of the stock and you want that dividend to grow over time. These are very solid numbers already that should possibly increase based on having a lot less debt. Let's look at the financials in terms of the total debt. Revenue last few years has been increasing. Total revenues increase. Operating income has been increasing. Now, interest expenses have also increased, but going from 904 only to 1720, the 1720 should be pretty dramatically decreased after this sale has gone through in the end of the year. It says um, fourth quarter 2020 that the sales should go through. So, interest expenses will be decreased. When you're looking at the earnings, earnings have increased the last four years, but the last two years there was a decrease in the price. Revenue per share has been relatively solid, especially for a utility company, from 19 all the way to 21. Earnings per share has been increased. It looks like um, from the news, Dominion Energy will be buying back a lot of shares um, after this deal is through. So then the earnings per share will increase because of that, because there'll be less shares available. And then each person will be a slight bigger owner of the company. So that's essentially it for now. I'm going to be taking close attention at the Minion Energy in the next few days to see what happens to the share price. If I see a decrease in the price under 80, I'm going to be buying a fairly small position in this because I think it could be a good deal in the very long run for them. Again, very stable dividends, stable growth. You're going to have less of that. And they're pivoting to more renewable energy sources, which I think over long periods of time, and we could be looking decades here, 10, 20 years down the road, wind, solar could be much better energy sources and it could be more sustainable. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys next time.